Hello everyone, this is Bowtie Daniels and welcome to the first episode of 2019. So today we're doing something a little bit different here. We're not on any of my servers or any of my worlds or anything and I just had a sheep disappear behind me and then reappear. That's very interesting. Uh, today we're going to be showing off a data pack and uh, I, I'm personally invested in this data pack because I helped out with the development and a lot of thanks to Akoi Meeks. Uh, he's the one that actually did all the coding and everything. I just kind of helped out with the concept and, and how it would work and all that sort of stuff. So. Let's get into what this data pack does. So before me, you see this lovely structure designed by Akoi with an end portal block in it. And what happens if we walk into this block? Just like a normal end portal gateway, we get teleported somewhere else. But you notice we're still in the overworld. And if you look all the way down there, that is where we started off from. So if I were to run all the way back over there and make my way back uh, into the portal, it would bring you right back to the spot every single time. So that's a uh, pretty awesome. Um, now, how does this thing work? You're probably asking. Well, I'll show you. First off, you have this book here. It says Gateway Summoning and You, and that's my name there because I did write that book. So this will explain to you pretty much everything that you need to know, what it's used for, how to get it, uh, the way you use it and some tips and tricks down at the end there. So it's quite a bit to read, but it's a lot of good information, so you should check that out. Then you get this gateway device, and you need some end rods. This is all very important stuff. So to use it, you put the gateway device in your offhand, and you place down and end rod. So I already have something set up over here, so I'm not going to do it in that location. Um, I'd rather do it somewhere else. So if I were to put down an end rod, say, right here, I get this message coming up that says you can uh, erase the memory if you so choose. A gateway target has been formed in your mind. So if I were to go somewhere else, we're not going to go too far. Let's just go, say, like over here and place down another end rod. I get this message saying a gateway link has been formed in your mind. Do you manifest the gateway or do you erase the memory? So if you go into chat and you click manifest the gateway, you have the gateway appear up and now you can quickly teleport to that location. So it's pretty nice, and that uh, end rod marks exactly where we're gonna teleport to, and if you wanna be able to go back and forth between the spots, you can just go ahead and set up another portal somewhere nearby. Um, that's not how I wanted to do that. So I place something down that I didn't mean to place down, and I can go ahead and erase this, and that will restart this entire process. So what I actually wanna do is come over here and place down a end rod somewhere in the vicinity of this portal. So if I want to get back and forth between two places. So as you can see, I got the message pop up again. So that's going to be our way back and forth. And if I come over here and throw down this end rod now, I can go ahead and manifest another gateway. And now I can get back and forth easily. So if I come into here, I'm at that end rod. And if I go back into this one, I'm at this portal. So I can go back and forth, no problem. It's a big time saver. Uh, now you may have not noticed, I started off with uh, about 50 levels, I think, or, or maybe 40. And placing down a portal is gonna consume 10 levels of XP. If you don't have enough XP, it's not gonna let you place the portal. So let me put down another couple and I'll show you what happens if you don't have the XP for it. Place that down, and then if I go to put down a gateway here and say manifest, it's gonna give me this error message saying, I seem to be missing the experience required for a manifestation. So you can't manifest a gateway without uh, having the required levels to do so. So these things are pretty nice here. Um, and there's a hidden little ender chest down in here that you get every time you manifest a gateway. But you gotta have the XP to, uh, to uh, be able to manifest these things. So you're probably asking right now, like, hey, Bowtie, these things are pretty awesome. How do you get them? Let me explain that to you. Okay, so step one, you're going to want to acquire some iron and some redstone dust. And when that happens, you're going to get some new recipes. And you should see one of those new recipes pop up. It was a compass. So you're going to want to go ahead and make the compass. Make sure you get that recipe completely unlocked. And then you're okay with step one. Step three, travel to the end. Step four, defeat the end dragon. Ooh. 
Step 5. Travel through an end gateway with an enderpearl. And as you can see, I got some challenges here and achievement and the gateway device, as well as gateway summoning and you, the book, have appeared in my inventory. So now all that's left is to go ahead and get some end rods, um, as I showed in the beginning, and you can go ahead and you can start placing down your portals. Okay, so there we have it. We now have our portal device. Let's go ahead and show you one last thing with how to use it. So we've already gone over placing down portals, but what if you put a portal down in the wrong place and you no longer want this portal right here? So it's a pretty simple process. You place down a block above it. Doesn't matter what block you, uh, you put there. You just have to put some sort of block. You're gonna put your portal device or gateway device into your offhand. And you're gonna place an end rod upside down. And once you place the end rod upside down, you're going to get this message here in chat. And I'll say gateways flicker around you is prepared to remove them. Do you erase it from the world or you leave them? So leave them means nothing is going to happen. If you click erase, that portal block is now removed. The rest of the structure remains. Um, give me that back. But the portal is gone, so you're not going to be able to go through and use it anymore. Uh, so that is that. Now, there are a couple things to keep in mind when using these things and best practices and stuff like that. And they're all inside this book, especially these last few pages where I could do tips and tricks. So some things to keep in mind, don't put a destination on top of a portal block. You'll get caught in a little infinite loop. It's fun for a second or two and then you can get kicked out of it, but it's not a good thing to happen every time you go through a portal. Also, these portals cannot be placed on bedrock. The, the, Data pack just won't let you do it, so you're not going to do uh, any bedrock breaking with this. Stop trying to cheat. Also, these take up, as you can see, a three by three by four uh, spaced area. So you want to keep your portals if you're going to be doing multiple portals next to each other um, a couple blocks apart. So if you have the structure here, you're going to want to place the next portal no closer than this block here. So I'll show you um, if I take that. I can take that and it's going to let me put a portal on top of the destination so I can place them next to each other and that's not going to cause any problems erasing and um, you can kind of see this is the loop that you get stuck in if you're not careful. So if you get out of it quickly, uh, that's why you don't want to put them on top of a, of a destination point. Uh, another thing to keep in mind, these portals are for one dimension only so you can't go from the overworld to the nether from the nether to the end. No, you're only gonna do overworld to overworld, nether to nether, or end to end. You're not gonna be able to do anything um, aside from that. Uh, anything else to keep in mind? Oh yeah, it's a good idea to do a distinct block. So if this is gonna be my destination point when I come through a portal, then I know that this is where I'm gonna be landing. There's nothing else around this block that looks like it. So this is my destination point. We'll go through, I come back and um, I don't know where that portal brought me. Where is it? Okay, let's try that again. So if I go through this portal and place down a piece there. So now I know this is my destination. I'll go through this one. I'm on the end stone. If I go through this one, I'm landing on end stone. So that's just a good best practice to know. Uh, so you don't put, you know, destinations or other portals or structures and things on this uh, same place. So. There is one other important thing that you should know. You're only able to get this device once, so don't lose it. That's very important. If it's destroyed, if it's lost, you're never going to be able to get it again, at least without using commands and some cheaty stuff. So it's totally possible to do that. If you just run this command, if you don't feel like doing all the achievements and advancements, you can go um, function, uh, a Koemex, gateway summoners, give device, and that's going to go ahead and give you the device. You can also do that for giving the book or manual rather is the proper word and that'll give you another copy of the book so there are ways to get it you just got to make sure you have cheats enabled on your server or world or whatever you're playing on in order to do that you can also put those functions into a command block and be able to press a button uh, and get them that way as well so those are a few important things to know about using these uh now this is an ongoing project uh this is not the finalized version of this data pack but it is the first full version that you can use that's ready for use in all of your worlds uh so let's talk about the future of this project now currently i don't know if you've noticed but all these portals are facing in one direction everything we've generated uh faces to the west now something we want to do in the future is to have them 
generate in whatever direction you're facing. So if I were to place down a portal over here, um, it would then face me rather than facing off in this direction. That currently doesn't happen. Uh, there are also going to be some biome specific portals. We have nine different types uh, that are currently in development. So depending on what biome you're in, the game will run a detection for that and generate a portal that looks nice for that biome. So I think it's gonna be like an end one, uh, ocean, uh, desert, and I forget what else there is. So there's a couple of uh, different ones. Oh, another one I think is, is an option as well. So that's something else that's coming in the future of this data pack. Uh, as well as possibly a couple of other things. Nothing is set in stone with this yet. And speaking of nothing set in stone, that also happens to be a new Minecraft server that I'm playing on and streaming that you should totally check out. Uh, the server is actually called Insist Minecraft, but Insist stands for It's Nothing Set in Stone. So that's a little shameless plug right there. So yeah, you should check that out when we stream, usually on Sunday afternoons or Monday evenings in the Eastern time zone. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here, guys. If you've enjoyed this data pack, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Also, definitely go ahead and check out Koei Meeks. Uh, if I haven't already, I will include a link here in the video or down in the description. Uh, he has several data packs related to Minecraft on his GitHub account. Uh, this one is up there as well. And if you have any questions about the data pack, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I will answer them for you. Uh, until next time, guys, this has been Bowtie. Peace out.